Hi, we're here today at the Jewish Home for Aging in the city of Los Angeles. And what we're going to see today is a production crew producing a documentary for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. The subject is memory. And what they're going to be seeing here is residents of the Los Angeles Jewish Home using Dacom Brain Fitness. And they'll be interviewing them and be interviewing me about how Dacom Brain Fitness helps seniors use rigorous cognitive exercise to fight the development of dementia. Sounds interesting. Let's go see what they're up to. How often do you look at it? That's great. That's the only time it is. always doing it in the evening. I'm so busy during the daytime. And it's just I have a time like last night. I was punching it. I was at the chair. It's 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 good to do it. Part of what it allows you to do it four or five times a week is to make it a routine. And doing it at the same time every day helps you do that. But mornings are better than evenings. People find that they're generally they do better when they do it. Let's give this one a try. Great job. Here's a familiar one. What is the name that goes with this one? Diggity dog. How about this one? What if we keep it up? Thanks for playing Aunt Maisie's amazing face fight. How old are you? 88. 88. Yes. And your memory is? I was, uh, I mean, sometimes I forget things that I forget. <laughs> but normally I'm pretty good. What kind, when you forget, what kind of stuff do you forget? Maybe you didn't forget when you were young. Uh, names, no, sir. Yeah, even. People that I know very well, and all of a sudden, I, it's a blank. Anything else other than names? Can you think of other things you might tell? Uh... Oh, little things. Like last night, I forgot to take my pills, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often. But actually, basically, I'd say I'm pretty good. You have you done this just now? Do you feel you've been through like an exercise session? Does this feel like a mental workout or not? Oh, just now? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm sure, I think it would help in the memory. I mean, in your, uh, because of, but most of the people in a home like this, their short-term memory is the first thing that goes. And also, another thing is, is your attention span. Absolutely. Right? That's very important. In your experience, what, what kind of things do people forget first as they start to their memory? Short-term memory is the first to go. Uh, Long-term memory stays with people very long into their disease. My dad had Alzheimer's, which has really got what got me going into this business, inspired me to, uh, to create this. And uh, I would uh, constantly ask him questions for me to assess what, where his cognitive ability was. So I could regularly get a good handle on the stuff that I knew he should know or did know yesterday. Does he still know it today? Would it make a difference, do you think? Um, unfortunately and sadly, um, my dad never got to use this. Uh, he died before it was uh, completed. But the good news is that his, um, his disease uh, inspired me to develop this. And his legacy is that we can help many, many people uh, engage in cognitive exercise to help them. And so his, uh, his disease was his final gift to me. What do you think these, these puzzles and challenges do you do? Tell us what that does in well, I think there's a variety of things that they do. But the first thing is that we try to do is we want to focus people's attention. And we want them to be totally in the moment and absolutely paying as close attention as they can to what they see, what they hear, and what they read. One of the reasons for that is that many seniors experience what they think are memory problems, but they really don't have a memory problem. What they have is an attention problem. Isn't that a problem all over life, all through all ages, don't we not pay attention to it? It absolutely is. But the seniors, because they live a less engaged life in general, the tendency is to become you know, even more removed from those activities that do stimulate your brain. And if you're sitting at home all day by yourself and you're not doing something proactive and doing something that is working your brain, you're in fact letting your brain kind of go to sleep. And are these machines only for people who are worried they're going to get dementia or for anybody else? No, they're absolutely, 
brain fitness is for everybody. We say it is never too late or never too early to start a brain fitness program. It's about quality of life. It's about peak performance in every way. You want to be at your top of your game today, tomorrow, and right up to the end. And getting busy on it today is a good place, is as good a time as any. Thank you.